Hello all and welcome to the next episode of our Before We Leave playthrough. When last I saw you, we were mucking up the road layout on our second planet and it's been great. Today, let's take a look at what we can do for our peeps. I think we have pretty much finished researching spaceflight, which is great stuff. That means we have a lot of other things opening up, but of course, in order to research the next level of all these things, you need combinations of different colors of science. So first things first, we're going to have to ship all this blue stuff back to our mother planet. Now, as promised last time, we need a new name for this island. And we saw some itty bitty little kitties running around these forests. Oh, they're probably not in town. Oh, no, there they are. Hello, cat. Yes, these are the true Ellie cats. All right, let's give this island a name. This is going to be Meow Town. <laughs> and the planet, I think we need not name it yet. It's not like we have that many planets. Planet 2 is an all right name for right now. All right, let's see. So on this planet, we have things going on, but this is not really where my interest lies. Let's zoom out a bit. And we head over to Alitopia, which is our mother planet. I mean, she's been called one. Okay, let's see. What do we want here? We want to build one of our new buildings. That's going to be these two. We've got a launch pad for a spaceship and we've got a eh, spaceport. Fantastic. Now these work, I think, almost exactly the same as do the, uh, the sea versions. You know, the shipwright and the port. So this is just spacey versions of those buildings. Let's see. Okay, we do want a launch pad. This, this building generates a lot of gloom, which means people just don't like big buildings in this game, uh, which is all right. I think we can probably... Oh, your uh, launch pad can't go on the highlands. That seems counterintuitive, but all right. I suppose we can live with that. I'm kind of wondering whether the best idea is to build our launch pads on this island even. But uh, maybe it's maybe it will be fine. It's over here next to our textiles. Although you're probably also similar to the port, you're probably going to need a lot of warehouses nearby, won't you? That kind of makes me wonder. Should we rebuild a lot of warehouses over there or should we... Yeah, no, I think we will get some... Look, we already have a nice stepped warehouse over here. Uh, let's take a look at what we can do. I think if we remove these trees, we should be able to fit in both our launch pad and our spaceport on this part of the island. I think the spaceport's more important. I think that's the one that's actually going to be using the warehouses. But of course, the launch pad is important to build the traders. Now let's yeah, let's get this going. We've got a hmm. I think we can yeah. I think if we clear over here, this can be the spot for the launch pad. Oh come on. Um, It can be quite finicky with where the roads go. Yes, that's what I want. There's the launch pad. And then let's see if we can fit in the spaceport nearby. Yes, I quite like that. They make like one continuous block of buildings. Fantastic, let's get them built. In the meantime, while they're building, we can take a look at making more stepped warehouses, which is going to be awesome. I think we can remove some of these trees I love my stepped warehouses. I don't need to tell you guys that, you already know. Hmm. Let's see, if we are here, can we have a stepped warehouse over here somehow? No, it kind of backs onto this bridge and the game doesn't like that. That's all right, we will do it another way. I think if we get some road here, some road here, then that should give us a couple of nice spots Yes. Oh, yes. This is going to allow us to import 
a ton of science and all sorts of other things, of course. I'm kind of mainly thinking about the science right now. And here, why not build yet another warehouse, but this time a normal kind you can fit right in there. Look at that. Over here, yes, that bridge will never be fixed, unfortunately, because we kind of need it to run this way around. If you wanted to build another stepped warehouse here, oh, it would be so great. But you would need to change this bridge around to run straight across. And to do that, you would need to destroy this house. I'm not willing quite yet to destroy some of my neighborhoods just to get a cool looking warehouse. Although that does sound like the kind of thing I would do, doesn't it? Mm, maybe I'm not quite that evil yet. But we'll see. There's still time. Okay, over here we have got our spaceport up and running. Yes. Oh, it looks so good. I I love the aesthetic here. You've got a spaceport and it's a, like a wooden building with like patchy tile roof patched with planks and things. But also uh, <laughs> a nice high-tech satellite dish. That's quite lovely. Odd mixture, but I like it. And here, of course, we have a launch pad. <laughs> That's made from wood. I I don't know a lot about spacefaring, but I do think that's kind of uh, hmm, kind of dodgy. Let's see what we can build. We need a trade spaceship. It's going to need wood and fuel. There, uh, yeah. Let's build it. I am wondering, do we have fuel importing to this island? Because I do seem to remember. Hmm. Let's look at our lanes. We do have some fuel being shipped. I just think it was being shipped from Mechaville to Glitter Valley because that's where we launched from last time. Mechaville does need to start shipping fuel. Okay, so do bring us some fuel, please. We do need it. And of course, uh, we need to store it somewhere. But now, of course, it is very far away from all the places that need it. We're going to have some people running around being very inefficient but I don't see any way to fix that right now. Mm. Let's store some fuel here. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So our shipping lanes should start bringing us some fuel shortly. There we go. Are you picking up fuel already? Yes, I like it. All right. Oh, this is this island. This dark cloud is still hanging over this island. Look how filthy everything is. Oh, but aren't those industries lovely? I just noticed workers here. Yeah, no, idle workers 4. That sounds good. Idle workers 4, empty posts 12. What is going on? Oh, are you missing some important ingredient? Well, you've got potatoes, you've got water. That's all you really need. All you really need. Come on. I am not entirely sure what's going on here. I think part of it might be housing. It might be time for us to create one more quick neighborhood over here. Uh, I'm thinking, how about... Run a road around here like this. And then we have a spot for three more houses. There we go. That'll be good. Right. So next thing we want to see how our new spaceship is doing. Ooh, are you building it? Is it coming along? I don't think we have all the ingredients we need yet. We need wood apparently. Er, do we not have wood? Oh. Oh, how did this happen? Isn't this like our main island for wood production? What is going on? Can I... Hmm. Well, you are working very hard. I think we're exporting a ton of wood and we're burning it, of course. Uh, over here, we're burning some wood, yes. And over here, with our food production, we're definitely burning some wood. I think we might need another woodcutter just to... Ooh, and I see the perfect spot for it. Let us chop some more wood here, just for now. Won't need to be permanent, of course. Hmm. Now, these these warehouses, I need... Hmm. I'm going to upgrade these so long. 
Yes, let's upgrade them. And then, of course, in some of these, we want... Uh, we'll have to wait for them to finish upgrading. Hmm. All right. You can see our our human resources situation on this island is, has become pretty terrible. We've got 35 empty posts. Ooh, that is nasty. Okay, look, we will definitely need to do something about that. Where can we build? Ooh, I see something. Let us build another neighborhood here. Yes, look at the pretty houses. All right. And I think here would be great to be able to build a neighborhood, but well, it's possible if we're willing to do some interesting bridge work. We can likely get something interesting set up here. Because these these triple houses are going to provide for half. Oh, empty spots 40. Wow, that's a lot. We definitely need some new upgrades. Look, I think... Yeah. Do we have more space? Oh, here's some living space. I wonder whether we can just use this road, road. Hmm. I think I might have to get over my obsession with housing triangles. They are nice, but they kind of lead to some suboptimal builds, something like this. I just don't know that this is uh, that this is necessarily worth it. But you spend one, two, three, four tiles on building roads, and then you get one triangle out of it, which is sweet. But is it worth it? I mean, if you just brought a road in down there, you could have... Yes, I don't know. I'll have to analyze that at some point. See what the most efficient way is to allocate your houses to the available space. Hmm. All right. That's fine, though. We'll survive. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, we... Oh. Yes, we need our school to start producing more peeps. Of course, it's not going to just happen overnight, but we do have the space now, which is good. Good, 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 good. Right. Now that this has been upgraded, I think we can... Oh, it's still waiting for resources. Now, we can take a look. What are we going to be importing here? Uh, definitely... Oh, we can't store science here, of course. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Well... What are we going to be exporting? That's the other question. So I think let us store some glass here and some steel because these are tough to make or slightly tougher than you would think. So we need a place to store these for export. And of course, I wonder what is our clothing situation like? 44. Hmm. Uh, what about oil? Yes, I think we need to send some oil to so that when our peeps start burning stuff, they can burn efficient stuff. Or well, that's what the game tells me in any case. I'm still not sure about burning oil over wood. Is it really better? Hmm, not sure. Okay. What is our tea situation like? Oh, not a lot. Okay. Well, be that as it may. What are we short of? Wood. Always wood. Uh, yes. That is the thing. We have a new woodcutter's hut, but of course we don't have enough peeps to run everything on this island, so we're going to end up having to wait a little while. Yeesh. They are bringing some wood. I like it. I like it. We are making some progress. Not a ton, though. 12 of 40. Hmm. So we've got a wet weather system on Elitopia. It can increase crop growth. Uh, and we've got a calm weather system, which will decrease effectiveness of wind generators. Now we have none of that, so we don't have to worry about any of that, which is pretty sweet. Ah, oh, look at these factories. Uh, <laughs> I'm still doing it. I'm still calling my warehouses factories. That is very odd and very silly. Let's see. I am going to need a spaceport on the other planet, of course. Just realized we won't be able to trade anything with this planet if we don't have a spaceport there. So let's take a look what's happening on our frontier. 
Okay, it looks good, it looks good. Let's build a spaceport. Uh, this one, is it? No? Yes, this one. It needs all the things we have, I think. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Uh, I'm trying to think. We need to put it somewhere where it's kind of away from things, but close enough to populate. Oh, Luna. You are always all up in my grill. <laughs> I'm going to delete that ship, and it's going to be good. Right. Uh, I think we could possibly place... Yeah, look at that. But of course, this generates gloom, which right nearby our houses. I'm not sure. Is that a good idea? Is it a bad idea? I don't know. Ooh. Look, we can always move this, of course. Everything is movable. Uh, let's get our spaceport set up. As soon as we have it, we can actually start uh, setting up trade routes between our planets. And we can finally start getting... I wonder whether we can launch this spaceship again. This is our new home on a new planet. Oh, we're actually living out of this spaceship to a certain extent. I don't know that it's ever going to launch again. This is a bit like... Uh, New Caprica, isn't it? <laughs> We're all just huddling around the spaceship in our little huts and hoping for the best. Yeesh. Alright. That is grim. Ah, there we go. Nice. Now we should be able to set up interplanetary shipping. Oh, yes. There we go. Not potatoes. Oh, that ship has sailed. We're way beyond potatoes. Come on. Oh, we have no ships yet. All right. So let's bring... Mm, mm, we bring the steel. Uh, 30, I guess? No, 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 no. Let's leave it at the default. I mean... Yes, I think that'll be all right. We can change it. That, that, we want... What are some things that we can only have on Mother Planet that'll be very tough? to change. Uh, we did say oil, did we not? Yes, we did say oil. And I mean, eventually it's going to be things like, uh, I'm thinking clothing, yes. Yes, but for now we don't have enough clothing. And of course, here are some luxury items. We haven't even looked at that yet. Ah, I think that's what we need to do next. And what we want to bring back from Planet 2 is all the blue science, Ooh, all the delicious blue science. So we can start making some, uh, we may as well, I'm thinking about it now, we may as well add all the science, just just bring all the science, why don't you? Yes, because we may find other science on this planet, and we want to bring it all home so we can use it. We have no ships yet, but now at least we have the route. Yes, yes. Okay, shall we take a look at how that ship of ours is progressing? Oh. Not very well. It is... Well, well, no, no. We are almost done. We have 36 out of 40 of the wood we need. 37. After that, uh, we will need power. No, we have. We have everything we need. This ship is just about done. I'm guessing it's not yet halfway with this bar. Because uh, it's going to have a little bit of a construction bar. And then it's going to have a little bit of a, a filling bar, maybe, for the journey who knows it doesn't look as done as it look looks over here oh yeah there we go they are constructing nice let's take a look the space age <laughs> they, are, they seem to be constructing a lot but nothing's a, oh there we go it is appearing slowly but surely yes Ooh, let's Get a little bit of speed on that, just to see. Not enough workers, see that's the problem. We don't have enough workers on this island, which is uh, very unfortunate. Where's our next threshold? I just want to be careful that I don't exceed that, because then my people are going to become even more whiny, and that will not be great. Uh, empty posts, 37. Yeah, we seem on track to have 31 new workers added to our island. 
which should go a long way towards oh listen to those construction sounds the sound of progress <laughs> i love it all right while we wait for that let's take a look yeah a lot of things are not functioning optimally anymore we do not have a lot of people how did this happen how did we not notice this happening yeah well i guess that's how it goes what is this oh yes of course we built this warehouse specifically to carry our fruit and vegetables and of course the products of that which is uh, meals and uh, smoothies yes so now now these things should be able to work a bit more efficiently as soon as they have you know enough workers assigned to them luckily i see the game does kind of split workers around we have two out of three workers at least even if there's not enough <laughs> i just noticed the smoothie maker looks like a massive <laughs> food processor or actual you know smoothie maker that's very cute <laughs> okay our next trading spaceship is coming along nicely well nicely it's it's being built at half speed which is uh, unfortunate but it'll be done soon and then we'll have some good trade going on while we do that oh yes glitter valley i wanted to show off what i've been doing between episodes <gasps> look at this this port has been fixed look no longer does the road come out the side i have managed to fix it it is beautiful of course, uh, I don't have anything to do with this tile right now. <laughs> I can't place a well there. I can't place a fountain there to make my people happy because it's dirty desert. I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with that tile. But, you know, it just, it makes me happy not to waste a whole tile on a piece of road that I don't need. Now, our trading ship is done. It is called the Periwinkle. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that is a good name for a trading spaceship, but you know, I'm not quite sure what I can do about that. <laughs> it's um, it's the Periwinkle. Uh, we can maybe think up a new name for it. I am not sure I'm going to be doing that right now, the Periwinkle. I love it. It's actually very classy. <laughs> Is it snowing over here? Oh, it's snowing on Mechaville. Um, that is concerning. Or, you know, <laughs> is that just ash flakes from all my pollution sifting down out of the sky? That's also possible. <laughs> no, at least it does look like snow, uh, if I'm to be honest. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Getting snow falling on the roofs and gathering on the bridge and on even on the well oh that is so lovely this is um an unexpected uh frostbunk moment popping up here quite like it quite like it yes 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 well I don't think there's much I can do on this island, although my people are miserable here. Did I not yet place this fountain? I'm pretty sure I planned to place a fountain here to try to make my people a little bit more happy. Uh, did I not? Oh, I did not. Or was it the other side? No, no, that was exactly where I pl planned to place a fountain. Uh, I just never got around to it which is so unfortunate. All right, that'll make my people a bit more happy. Uh, what about over here? Can I, well, there isn't an exit from the highlands. Uh, there's one here kind of, oh yeah. There's one here. I can place a fair, yeah, well, this one doesn't really reach all that far into the island, uh, into the highlands. But I think maybe I can. Oh, I see. These people are getting like little. Uh, well, I used to call it sunstroke or back on Glitter Valley. I suppose it's not sunstroke. It's just general fatigue. Oh, Luna. Oh, why do you vex me? <laughs> it's, 
Is it potatoes? It has to be, right? I need more potato storage. This is just insane. I do. I have a ton of potato storage. Why is this? Why are you always complaining? Oh. No matter. I think the periwinkle is ready to rumble. There we go. Let's take a look at this. Oh, look how lovely that is. Very nice. So let's see. Can we... Yes, we can launch. Let's do it. There we go. Nice. Alright, so what this should allow us to do is go to our interplanetary shipping lanes and assign the periwinkle. Okay, and that means we are going to start getting blue science, which means within a couple of... Hmm, that might take a while. Okay. Wait, what does this mean? Do we not have... Mikable does not have enough oil. Hmm, how is that possible? This is our oil island. It is our main source of oil. Are you doing anything? Unhappy workers, yeah. All resting from fatigue. All having a nice siesta. Er, Man, people are miserable in this place. We do have some idle workers though, so it's not like we have a shortage of workers. They're all just being lazy. You know, lazy and unconscious and all sorts of bad things. Hmm. Okay, well, is the problem... Let's let's take a look. Is the problem that we're not producing enough oil? I'm just curious. Are we technically uh, producing... So, we can produce 8 per minute. How much does this thing... Uh, consumes 10 per minute at its peak. Uh, so we definitely need about two oil refineries running at peak to make sure our fuel refinery can run at peak and have some oil left over. Mm. Are we ready for yet another, yet another polluting industry on this island, I wonder? Mm. Possibly not. Possibly not. All right, uh, no matter. Yes, I think let's build one more. Uh, where's my extracting? Yes, yes, oil. Let's build one more oil thing. I hope we have enough people for it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Uh, and also the second thing we need to check, are we shipping glass to our main island? Let's see, Glitter Valley glass 60, yes, we are. Definitely shipping glass. The Luna, oh, God bless them. They are bringing us some glass. Now my peeps on Mechavel are getting hungry somehow. What? How, how, how does that work? Do you not have potatoes? Uh, let's see. No, no potatoes. Who is... Yamato, what, what are you doing? Are you, are you actually... Doing your job? Are you bringing potatoes? Yes, you are. I think we should. Uh, yeah, I think what we can do, because I think the the number of potatoes that's just the problem. This is yes, the Yamato. Let's allow it to bring up to thirty because. Can we make it forty? Because we are going to be getting larger ships at some point. Well, I hope. Right, let's take a look. How is our trade ship doing? Oh, it's already at the other planet. Look at that. And it's filling itself up with 90 blue signs. Fantastic. Oh, that Luna. <laughs> oh, I'm going to burn that ship to the ground one day and I'm just going to laugh maniacally as I watch it sink. Ooh. Anyway, no, no, no. I don't want to get distracted now. Let's take a look. So, yeah, we are getting our blue science loaded up and within just a couple of moments. And this is such a good time for our first trading trip as well. Look at how close our two planets have come in their various orbits. Nice. 
So I just want to see the ship leave. Oh no. The distance is growing larger again. You have to leave soon. Come on. Ah, there we go. Look at that slingshot maneuver. <laughs> nice. Okay. Well, there we go. I see we have just about run out of time for today's episode, but this has been great. Thank you for joining me and tune in next time when we get that blue science flowing back to Elitopia and find a way to spend it all. <laughs> okay. Take care of yourselves, have fun, be safe, and I will see you next time.